Tonight on The Prophet. I'd like to get some fun. Oh, I love fun. Hold my hand, pulse. Switch back up. That's the fun part? At a women's activewear company based in Los Angeles, the owner only sees things in black and white. I do what I want, kind of like what I would want to wear. And what if you wanted to come up with a printed fabric? I would never do printed. Maggie Montiel found early success by building a multi-million dollar company completely online. It does really well, and it sells. Now her conservative aesthetic is starting to lose popularity. This looks a little mommy to me. If you really made a point of being like the one that had the fashionable bras, women need that. Dealing a blow to her bottom line, revenue went down pretty significantly, right? Yes. And yet she still doesn't want to take the risk to adapt to the latest trends. I don't think I would call myself a rebel. What would you call yourself? Safe. Even if that's what the customers want. You need to be more aggressive with the style of the right. leggings. No. If I can't get this owner to think creatively. I like the shape, I like how it fits a waistline. It's really mediocre. Thank you. Her beloved fashion brand may go out of style forever. Honestly, I wouldn't take any of that. None of it. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, I'm Marcus. <laughs> Maggie, nice to meet Maggie, you. Maggie, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Kiera. Kiera? Yes. That's a cool name. Thank you. Cambria. How are you? Another cool you? name. Yeah. Everybody's got nice <laughs> names. Can I see some pieces? Yeah, of course. I want to see what the top sellers are. Definitely oh, our teardrop, teardrop bra. Yeah. This is our number one seller. This is the number one seller in the company? Yeah. yeah. That's the one that I started with. Wow, this feels really nice. As I look at the products that Maggie makes, I would say that from a quality standpoint, they're superior. And you put a nice grain in it. It's our yes. special blend. But they seem very plain. The usage of the product feels a little one-dimensional. If you like to do a particular activity or wear a particular color, and Maggie doesn't have it, it's almost like she's telling you, go shop somewhere else. When did you start this? November 2013. And that was in my two-bedroom apartment. So how many team members? Just the three of you? So for the office, it's the three of us. And your dad's still involved in the business? Yeah, he's our CEO. Why are you the CEO? Because I think that having somebody who's been in the business and knows what he's doing and has taken other companies public is really important because at that time, I wasn't qualified to be a CEO. I wasn't qualified to be a president at the time. On first blush, it seems like a good idea that, that Maggie has really acquiesced the CEO title to her father who has years of experience in this industry. But to use him as the CEO feels a little like a cop-out to me. Do you ever change your mindset and come up with new things? I have no interest in that. Uh -huh. I feel like I have a lot of pressure on me. and, and Where's apart... the pressure coming from? Myself. I don't sleep. I th it was worse when I was younger. I've kind of gotten control of the anxiety part. Well, Are you happy started. now? No. Why not? not? Because now I'm worried. <laughs> now I'm worried. Would you have fun, please? Okay, well, all right. I'm trying. Anytime I go into a business, I have to really early on determine what my process is going to be like with the business owner. Am I going to have to be very tough? Am I going to have to be aggressive? Am I going to have to be persuasive? In the case of Maggie, giving her opportunities to try things without fear of failure or without any consequences to that failure may be a better path. Hey, Marcus. How are you, sir? How are you doing, It's bud? good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Oh, my pleasure. So I'm going to give you the 2017 financials. Revenue went down pretty significantly, right? Yes. How much inventory do you have in your warehouse? About 250000 And how much cash in the bank? Three hundred grand. Remind me, was there any debt in the company? Nothing. No debt? No debt. Essentially 500000 in assets? Yes. With a nice, profitable business. I love the business because I feel like you live the business mm -hmm. and you are the business and yeah. that your work and your social lifestyle is love the it. product. There's some level of embellishment that can be done to some of the products to give it a novelty piece. I don't think that this product should be singularly focused on yoga. a yoga lifestyle. Yeah. I think it's more of an active lifestyle. So my revised offer is 45% of the business for 700000 What do you think, Megs? Absolutely. Let's do it. I could not. Want to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Until now, Maggie has marketed her company entirely to the yoga community. And so I want to open up her mind and I'm going to take her to Flywheel. Having a full class of customers wear our product and use it during an actual class and give us feedback is a great way to do research to give us the kind of changes that we need to make to be successful with Flywheel. So? Let's hear, guys, anybody. You need to be more aggressive with the style of the mm -hmm. leggings. Cutouts, yeah. metallics. Women really like to get a little bolder. No. 
it does really well and it sells. I don't know what your demographic is. I would never wear that. I have the proof that it sells. Like, Fashion. that clearly, Fashion. fashionable bra, like, that's huge. I was kind of surprised, e even shocked, at how combative Maggie was while she was getting feedback from people about her products. You have to be able to listen to all the feedback and take the super positive stuff and the super negative stuff and lay it off on the side and find something that is running through the whole thing. Hey, Maggie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, you. Susanna. Maggie, nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Welcome. So the reason that I wanted to get all three of you together is Stephanie runs the entire fashion business for our company. And one of the businesses is Susanna Monaco, somebody that's been through it, that has experience. Susanna been in the business for 20 something years. 22. Susanna Monaco was a small business that I invested in two years ago. And she's a successful designer that happens to specialize in a very similar material that Maggie uses. When I first met Susanna, she didn't want to change either. And as she took that leap of faith, she was able to experience success in her business. And so I thought by putting Maggie and Susanna together, Susanna would pull her along and say, look, this is what's happened to me. How much of this stuff would sell to your current base the way it is today? 10%, maybe. Not much. I don't think it's much because there's too much out there now that's wowing people. You're saying this is too flat. I, 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 I do, I do think it is. What do you think it needs to be on here to make it work? I would change the fabric and change the color. What I created, and a lot of it was based off of what I wanted, and I like the backs and the backs sell. Hearing from me about how Maggie should change her design to change her business is one thing. But hearing from Susanna, who has 20 years of experience in this same industry, should really change the way Maggie's thinking. So this is the start of the, this is it. the collab. It needs to get tweaked. You need to go over everything. And then we need to weave in the Susanna Monaco yes. stuff. How are you feeling? She's nervous. Today's the big pitch at Flywheel. I would really wow her with like a real fine knowledge of every square inch is money. It's gonna be paramount for Maggie to differentiate her products from what Flywheel already sells. You have to be prepared for them to say something like, well, this stuff sells. I just hope that she's taken her line far enough for them to see that. Hi. 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 I'm Julie. I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Everybody, good to Marcus, see you. Marcus, good to see you. So I'm gonna <laughs> turn it over to Maggie. Here are some hoodies. Mm -hmm. Do you have that hoodie that comes longer? I think we have to use the Fly logo because our Fly family, whether it's employees, instructors, writers, everyone that's coming in wants to feel a part of the brand identity. I do think the product like needs work. <laughs> like just to take it up a notch to a level that's just more iconic and memorable. Thank you, thank, so you so thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for taking you. the time. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you for taking thank you. the time. I really appreciate it. What they're really looking for are new innovative things, new products, new graphics, new designs. Yeah, what I've been telling her the whole time. If she would have just listened to me a little bit and thought outside of the box, we'd at least be walking away with something. Now we're walking away with literally nothing. Maggie. Marcus. What's happening? Oh, there's Hi, how are you? How are you? Everything okay. good? Yeah. I'm heading in to see Maggie's final Maggie line, her reveal of all the changes and things that she's done. And if I don't see something revolutionary, to be totally candid with you, it's going to be three strikes and you're out. So I was going to show you on a laptop, but I figured I'd print all of this out because it's easier to see. This was for you. That was for me or for you? For you. I think of the Maggie line as an extension of me, and I don't think that that necessarily represents me. Maggie didn't even have the courtesy to bring actual garments to me or to change anything. Not even the poses that the models were in, the color palette that was used. It was almost like she sabotaged it on purpose. What I was going to see today was going to tell me if you really wanted to move forward or not, and the fact that you didn't even go try to silk dream something or print something. I was kind of hoping for something to to happen yeah, to me where, too. I, where I felt like, wow, this is going to grow my business. Maggie, you didn't trust the process. I feel like I kind of wasted a lot of my time. I'm sorry. So I'm I have, no, because I, I, you know, I obviously have so much respect for you. Look, I wish nothing but the best for Maggie, but I don't think she ever really wanted a partner. I wish you a lot of luck. You too. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Yeah. We either have revolutionary, innovative designs that are going to be cutting edge against the competition, or you're going to get swallowed and spit out by the competition.
and I don't want my money or my reputation being a part of that.